I'm Khan for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. Have you tried creating smart chips in Google Docs yet? Smart chips display an icon and short title or description for a link's content. When a user hovers over the chip, they see a card that previews more information about that link. Third-party smart chips are powered by Google Workspace add-ons and, as its name suggests, lets you add, view, and engage with information from third-party apps. And of course, smart chips can be published to the Google Workspace Marketplace. Click on over to the link in the description to learn more about how you can build your own smart chips. Hopping on over to Sparky's world, Viewfire, a first-class view in Firebase experience, including support for Nuxt, is now stable and ready for use. There's a bunch of features included, like one-line real-time data bindings, Firebase auth functions wrapped into view composables, app check support, and more. Check out the Viewfire announcement blog post for a full rundown. Finally, in the AI world, Gemini Pro is now available for developers and enterprises. Gemini Pro accepts text as input and generates text as output. We've also made a dedicated Gemini Pro Vision Multimodal endpoint that accepts text and imagery as input with text output. Google AI Studio is the fastest way to build with Gemini. It's a free web-based developer tool that enables you to quickly develop prompts, then you can get an API key to use in your app development. You can sign into Google AI Studio with your Google account and take advantage of the free quota, which allows for 60 requests per minute. Get all the details on building with Gemini Pro at the blog post linked in the description. To learn more about all of this week's stories, be sure to check the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and keep on building. I'm Tom, The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. I can say Gemini Pro!